welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a fall decor unboxing. I'm gonna go through all of my current fall items to see what I wanna add. Maybe there's some things I wanna give away or donate. So this is much needed. I've needed to do this for quite some time because who is excited for fall this year? I am so excited, especially with us spending so much more time at home. I just am really driven to make my home as cozy and warm and comfortable for my little family for this fall season. So let's get right into it. So a few things were in other boxes that weren't completely fall boxes, so I already grabbed those out. Um, the first thing is this sign. We keep, I keep all of my signs in like a large tub. So I grabbed this one out. This one was from Michael's a few years back. It's a decent size. I typically hang this on my front porch. It's wood and white, and then it has some galvanized um, metal leaves on it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it on my front or back porch this year, but I will for sure be using it. The next thing is another sign, and this is a small wood one, and it says home where our story begins. And last year I had this also on my um, front porch. It was with mums and pumpkins, and it was just nestled in there and just really cute, and hay bales and all of that stuff. So um, I'm for sure gonna use this this year as well on my front porch. And then it's just basic on the back. Ooh. The next thing is this wreath and I actually made it, oops, some pics are coming out. I made it a few years back and it's just one of those cheap um, circle forms from Michaels and then I put different pics in there and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it on my front or back porch, but I will for sure be using it. And you guys will see a trend. My decor is very, very neutral. Here's one of the tubs near me. Very, very neutral. Um, it's just what I like. I do use pops of like a seafoam green and just muted colors, but overall I like a very, really natural aesthetic. I do add in pops of orange and especially when it gets closer to Halloween, I will add in jack-o'-lanterns and more orange, especially for Brooklyn's play area. But for the most part, I'm a pretty neutral girl. And then pumpkins galore. So I have a ton of these white pumpkins. This one I used on my front porch and they are from Michaels. They have them every single year and it has like a distressed white top. And I love these because they do extremely well in the elements, like being outside all winter long, all fall long, they do great. Here is another pumpkin. This one is ceramic and it was from the Target dollar spot a few years back. I'm not sure if I'm obsessed with this gold stem, so I may paint it like black or something, or maybe like a brown tone, or just maybe um, put a little chalk paint on top of it to distress it a bit. But these are really cute, and I know I have a ton of these, but I didn't pre-go through my buckets, so we're gonna check out everything together. Okay, let's get into this one. So lots and lots of these pumpkins. These are from Michaels, like I said, and they're always super affordable. And I use these usually on my front porch. We do buy real pumpkins as well, but if I decorate the end of October, I won't put real pumpkins out there. It's too hot, they will not do well. So um, I decorate with these since I decorate so early. So we have another one of those, a huge orange one and I love this deep orange tone and then these white ones these white ones I actually use to decorate my table and you won't believe where I picked these up from last year my local grocery store so I picked up a bunch of these from my local grocery store last year and they are a bit cleaner than the ones outside because I use them to decorate inside but and I will definitely be using them this year so tons of white more of those white. 
And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna section everything off into a few piles. So what's gonna go inside the house, what's gonna go outside the house, and then what's gonna be for Brooklyn's um, fall area in her little play area. So another one of those white pumpkins that I used to decorate inside. Oop, buffalo plaid. I'm not sure if I will use these. Maybe I will use these for when it gets closer to Halloween. But I do, I think I have a few of these. Oh, I have this blue truck. I must have got it from the Target dollar spot. I'm not sure if I use it in my fall decor, but a blue truck. I probably won't use that this year. This is Halloween stuff, which we're not gonna really get into that. Another little Halloween bag. And I think last year I hung this on my little, when it got closer to Halloween, on my little hook um, in my mud area. I hung this. And then, oh, I remember when I picked this up when we were at the pumpkin patch last year and I had this also hanging on my hook. And I may hang this this year. I have hooks in my entryway now, so I may hang um, one of these bags on there. And this bag I picked up at a winery. I live near wine country, so in California, and I picked this one and it says, happy fall, y'all. It's so cute. Let's dig into here. So I have these picks, which I love. I picked these up from my local grocery store last year. They're so cute. And then, oh my goodness, lots of pumpkins. So I have gray pumpkins, Target dollar spot, last year or a few years ago. Lots of gray that I'm pretty sure I'll use this year. More gray. <laughs> oh, these were for Brooklyn's play area. We hung, I made a garland out of these because she actually made these little pumpkins. And we'll probably do that same thing this year when it gets closer to Halloween. And then more pumpkins. This one is from the, um, Dollar Tree a few years ago. And then more pumpkins. This is an orange. It's not as deep as this orange, but I do like the bronze top. And these are all, these little soft ones are from the Target dollar spot. Last year or the year before. And then a white one. I have a lot of these. Another ceramic one from the Target Dollar Spot. This one's white with that little gold top. I do like this gold color better than this one. This one seems kind of shiny. And then these, oh, I remember I used these last year on my table setting. They like match my nails. And then another one of Brooklyn's pumpkins she made. And then another orange. And then this garland was in Brooklyn's, not garland, little string of lights was in Brooklyn's play area. It's like little ghost and it's from the Target dollar spot. So definitely perfect for Halloween. And what's in this bag? Oh, this was a candle. I think I got it from Aldi. I must have loved it. I saved it, but it's like gold. It's really pretty, like mercury glass, and it's from Aldi. Mmm, it smells so good. And then that's it. There's just like a bunch of costumes in the bottom of here. That's it for that. Let's get the next bucket. And then here, more white pumpkins. White pumpkins seem to be my jam. This is actually like a cream color. 
and another one. I think I used those outside. And then we have these little ones in this orange tone. And so this is like the puff one and then we have these. And then this must have been for Halloween. And I don't even think I used this last year, but this was in Brooklyn's play area. And I think it was from Halloween one of the years. Okay, another bag. So lots of those soft pumpkins. And these are in like that muted, kind of the color of my nails, but more muted. Um, I love this color. I'll probably use it again this year. Even though I don't know if it's popular or whatever, but I love it. And then I got, I have these little pumpkins as well. So in grays, that. And at the end, I'll lay everything out so you guys can get a better um, idea of how everything is going to work together. And then this is filler that I think I had for a jar in the kitchen. And it has like little pumpkins and stuff in it. And then more pumpkins, white, that buffalo, which I think I will use for Halloween. And then more bats that we use in Brooklyn's play area for Halloween. And then this little pumpkin tray. This one is from the Target dollar spot last year, I think. And I think I use it in my kitchen. More bats, more witch clips from the Target dollar spot for Brooklyn's play area. And then more of these cute little pumpkins. I think these were in a set from Hobby Lobby, I wanna say. They're really cute. And then more gray pumpkins. Okay. So I see this. I must have bought this at the end of, or maybe I got it for free. I don't know, but I never used it, but it looks like it's a trio set and I'm pretty sure it's from Michaels because that's their brand of candles. More pumpkins, a blue one. Blue I have on my back porch, so I may use the blue for that area. And then more of these. I have a lot of pumpkins, I'm pumpkin obsessed. And then these little jack-o'-lanterns, which are dirty inside, that I used on my front porch last year. So I may use them on my front or back porch. I have two of them. I have a lot of stuff. Then more these. And then there's some Halloween stuff in here. A mummy. If you guys wanna see it. It's eyes like glow. But we have a whole Halloween box, so. See, there's nothing in here. That's why I'm going through these boxes. Because look, that is completely empty. And then, this is my candy tray for when kids come. More of these little pumpkins. I think I used these on my front porch last year. And then this little pumpkin. So more gray, Target dollar spot. I know I picked these fuzzy ones up from last year, which still have the price tag on them, but there was one two, like super cozy, three, Target dollar spot. The price tag says these were three bucks. And then I have ones, which I know I picked up from dollar store a few years ago. And a little blue one, dollar store. I mean, um, yeah, Target dollar spot. 
which I'll probably use outside. And then this one from the dollar store. This give thanks sign from Hobby Lobby last year. And then this one, fall in love from Hobby Lobby, which is really cute. And then another small pumpkin. I think this is from that set from Hobby Lobby. And that is it guys. That's it. I have like random stuff in here. Some spiders, a skull. Some candles for our like outdoor. I think they're like black tea lights. A witch's broom. I think I hung this in that bag um, for Halloween last year. It's from like the Target dollar spot, I think. Three bucks. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like I said, we do have another Halloween bucket because we do decorate the outside of our house. We'll probably add some spooky touches to the backyard as well. But that is all um, for the stuff that I had in my buckets. I do have a few new items and I wanted to go through those really quick um, to show you guys. So from the Dollar Tree, I picked up these little pumpkins. They were of course a dollar a piece. Um, they're that cream white. So you can run out and grab these now and they have the metal top. Thought those were really cute. I picked up this sign. I think I'm gonna use it in Brooklyn's play area or maybe like a little vignette or something surrounded by pumpkins in the backyard, but I'm not sure. And this was a dollar as well. And it says farm fresh. So these are new things. So you guys can go run and get them. I also picked up this from the Target Dollars, not the Target Dollars, but the Dollar Tree. It says thankful harvest and welcome. And it was a dollar and you get the three count. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna chalk paint these, paint these black or leave them silver. And then from Target, I picked up just the Hearth and Hand collection. I picked up these two um, candle holders and they're in that amber color. And they were only $4.99 and I thought that was such a great deal. And then here from the Hearth and Hand collection, I picked up some napkins for my um, dining room table. And you get four for $9.99. And I love the fringe on the bottom. And then from the Dollar Tree, I picked up these small little pumpkins in that deep orange color, which I love. And dollar a piece. So, as you can see, I love pumpkins. Like I have lots and lots of pumpkins. And then I'm gonna make a DIY garland for Brooklyn's play area. So here are some leaves. I think I'm gonna like dry brush paint them. I'm not sure what colors, but I brought, I bought, picked up two packs of these from the Target, um, not the Target, from the Dollar Tree. So I may like white brush them or I don't know, brush them a light orange, something like that. But I thought these were cute for fall. And then for Halloween, I picked up from the um, Dollar Tree, these to make a garland. And I think I'm gonna do that same dry brush effect. I'll probably have it in a video so you guys will know what I'm talking about. And that is it guys. So that is all of the fall decor that I currently have. And I have scoped out Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna actually be going to Walmart to scope it out. I will film that for you guys and I will start adding a few pieces to my collection. But right now I'm gonna section everything off and I will show you guys everything section off. What I'm gonna use outside, what I'm gonna use inside, and then maybe some stuff that I'm not gonna use that I can give away. So I have everything laid out. This is all the stuff for outdoors. Not sure if I'm gonna use it on the front or back porch, but this is what we have. That reef is getting all over the floor, so excuse my floor. 
And then this is everything that I have for inside. And I have these colored pumpkins, but I think I may use them upstairs in our bedroom because there's not that many of them and they kind of throw off the colors if I wanna add an orange. And I wanna find more stuff that is this colored, this color orange. So I'm on the hunt for that color orange, but I like the start of everything I have. Um, and then I know I have more stuff upstairs because this is all that I had for Brooklyn's play area. So orange and then that, um, that, we're, that I'm gonna make. And then I do have some Halloween stuff that goes in her play area. Um, but I feel like I'm missing. I know she had like, maybe it's more Halloween, but a pum pumpkin with like a glittery smile. I know she had more stuff. So this is so far all I found for Brooklyn's area. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the current items and a little bit of new items that I have in my... Um, collection for fall. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And it's going to be like happy fall shopping because now I see what I have and what I want to get. So let's get started with this fall shopping, you guys. And I will do several clean and decorates with me and it's going to be a fun fall season. I am so excited. I will see you guys in my next video.